Hi there, Debbie. Hello. Right, OK, we're going to learn how to make this beautiful, stunning bracelet. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Really, really beautiful. Let's have a quick look around, actually. Gorgeous. Now, Debbie, what do we need to make this? Right, you need some very simple tools out of the beading uh, toolkit. OK. And you need your beading thread. You need a clasp. You need some crimps and beading thread, and that is it. So very okay. simple. Fantastic. OK, right. All right, shall we get started? Yes, please. Right, first of all, I've cut two pieces of beading thread. This is a two-stranded bracelet. So how long are those pieces there? These, I would measure around your wrist and double it. OK. Because beading thread, you can, you can cut at the end. It's better to have too much than too little. Mm -hmm. So you're going to start off by doing a pattern. OK, so on one side, we are going to put a gold bead. Mm -hmm. And on the other thread, you're going to put another gold bead. OK. But then to pull it together, we then take our lovely faceted black beads and push that through the hole. So to both pull. threads go through there. That's right, to pull that together. Okay. And that is the pattern. You keep doing that until you get to the length you want. Now I've done some of this bracelet here just so you can see the pattern mm. building. Lovely, yeah. And I'm going to just continue on with this one. So I put one gold on one side again mm -hmm. and one gold on the other. And hold the two threads together and mm -hmm. take one of the lovely black shiny beads and thread through. We'll do that once more and then we've completed our bracelet. So that's so two gold. That's it. So two, two gold. gold. On one. Now, to finish off your bracelet, I want to pull these together mm -hmm. through a small bead. Now, excuse me if I put my glasses on, don't you? That's see, all right. See the tiny little holes in these beads. <laughs> but the, the threads will go through these lovely little black beads here. Okay. And that pulls your cords nice and neat and tidy, ready to put on your clasp. Okay. So I'm just going to feed that down the threads a little bit. And the beads will naturally sit in that kind of formation, won't they? You they don't will. necessarily need to. No, but you can see that some of them have gone one way and mm -hmm. some have gone the other. So you need to make sure that they are facing in the same way, that the pattern is the same. OK. So just flip them over if they've gone a different direction. So they're then Perfect. all the same way. Brilliant. So they're going that way. OK. Right, so what we need to do now is to take a crimp. A crimp is a tiny tube of metal that is essential for jewellery making. So what did you just use then to cut the beading thread? Sorry Debbie. Was I cut it? some, uh, I used some pliers mm. because of making the demonstration I just put a little crimp on the end just to hold your, right. hold the threads together which is which is quite good if you're going to be putting things to one side and coming back to them at a later date. It just saves all the beads falling off the thread. Perfect, okay. So I've popped on a, a crimp there mm -hmm. and I'm then going to take half of my clasp which is this toggle clasp and mm -hmm. I'm going to feed through the ring mm -hmm. and then back through the crimp with both oh, of right. the threads yep. okay I just pull those with my so this fingers. is all included in the kit isn't it it is everything's included in the kit you need to get both of those strands there we go perfect both of those strands like so mm -hmm. and then take your flat nose pliers and get hold of that crimp push it to not not quite to that ring and then press really hard so it then squashes it into a nice flat tube fantastic then take your pliers and trim as close to that crimp as possible then i'm going to feed all my beads so they're nice and tight to that end of my bracelet okay and i'm going to repeat on the other end okay so i'm going to again take a crimp mm -hmm. These crimps are the smallest thing you'll probably work with mm -hmm. in your jewellery making, but they are the most essential part of your jewellery making to they hold, hold the everything glue, together. Aren't they that hold they everything are really, together. Yes. yeah. So there's a crimp, and I'm going to take the other half of our toggle clasp, like so. That's it. And feed that back through the crimp again, like so. So it's gone Oops. through the loop of the T. That's right. And then back over. There we go. The and crimp pull. Don't pull it too tight otherwise you won't get any flexibility with your design. It'll become 
um, quite stiff and you won't be able to put that around your wrist. So you want it to move, you want some fluidity. Yeah. So, cut that off. Mm -hmm. And there you have your double-stranded bracelet. Fantastic. Okay. How simple was that? And here's your final piece. That really is so unbelievably simple. Check that out. Just a really simple formation of beads with that gorgeous clasp on the end. Now it's your turn. Have a go.